Hi, uh, we are in example three of section 12.2. And we are talking here about rectilinear motion. So we have a car that moves in a straight line such that for a short period of time, the velocity is defined with the equation three times time squared plus two times time. And we are asked to find the position and the acceleration. This is our solution. Let's start by finding the position. As we know, the velocity is equals to the derivative of the position. Since we, can, we have an expression for the velocity, we will find from here the expression for the position. So we can write this expression like that and then integrate both sides of the equation. What are the limits of integration? So in this, in this case, we are integrating respect to time, so our limits are 0 and t for a generic time, and in this case we are integrating respect to the position, which is 0 and s. So, we introduce our expression that we were given for the velocity, and we have 3 times time squared plus 2t, differential of time, is equal to the integral of the position. If I integrate this expression, I get 3, 3 cubed over 3 plus 2 t squared over 2, and this expression evaluated between 0 and t, and in this case will be s evaluated in 0 and s. So finally, I get that between, if I evaluate 0 in s and, and 0, I get s equals 2 this goes with that, and that one goes with that, I will get 3 cubed plus t squared. So this is an expression for this displacement of the car. For time equal 3 seconds, I evaluate that, and I get s equals 3 cubed plus 3 squared, the value of 36. And the units are very important since my initial units for the velocity were feet over second. This is in feet. So this is the first result that we find that this is the position. So we found this that we were asked to find. Now we need to find the acceleration. So, and... As we know the velocity is the derivative of the position, we know that the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity. And in this case, since we have the expression for the velocity, this is even a little bit easier. Instead of integrating, we derive this expression. So we have the derivative of 3t squared 2t over time. That will be 6t plus 2. And if I evaluate that for t equals 3 seconds, that acceleration is equal to 6 times 3 plus 2. And this is equal to 20. And the units are very important as well, feet over second square. And these are my second result. So we were able to find position and the acceleration given an expression for the velocity respect to time.